Crews are working to clean up an oil leak along a busy street in Cyprus. Oil start I started singing bye bye Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the well, Welcome back to CBS 2 News <laughs> this morning. It is 6:10. The top 10 Republican presidential candidates came out swinging at each other and at the media during last night's third GOP football official. Music. Yes. We're, we're ready for Thursday night football. Oh, yeah. Tonight's game is a matchup of two AFC East teams, the Miami Dolphins and the undefeated New England Patriots. Go Patriots! CBS News' Megan Gallagher. The team is on its way to recover what's left of a military blimp that managed to break free and float away. Yes, pay it forward. <laughs> The holidays are almost here, and that means family and friends will be taking lots of pictures. And when capturing those memorable moments, the experts at purewow.com have some adorable. They make you like a pretzel. Push your and shoulders say, forward <laughs> along with your chin and head. That's not going to work. The time is 627. Coming up on CBS 2 about strong Santa Ana winds are sending trees crashing down. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live in North Hills. Women were found dead along a popular hiking trail, and now police are trying to pick up the trail of their killer. Well, Taylor Swift is fighting back. She's uh, countersuing a Denver radio DJ she says groped her. Last. It's 642. Mm -hmm. It's Dia de los Muertos. Because of health issues, uh, he's 87. In an interview with Sportsnet LA, Scully says he's ready to go for 2016. 2016 will be Scully's 67th season as the voice of the Dodgers. It says it'll end its one-child policy, allowing all families to have two children. Over the years, the Chinese government has eased the restrictions, but today's move completely eliminates the policy that has lasted for about 35 years now. There were many reasons behind this move, including internal politics and economics. Holding on to some Grinches are trying to ruin the spirit of Halloween. The thieves were called. The Day of the mm. Dead is upon us. Thousands of people in Southern California are celebrating Dia de los Muertos with plenty of food and fanfare. Oh, yeah, and some tequila. The traditional uh, Latin American holiday honors ancestors and loved ones who have passed with a day of festivity. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live. Long Beach flipped the switch today on a new LED street light project. Most power has now been restored to thousands of Pennsylvania residents after a runaway blimp left them. This weekend, many Latinos will celebrate Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Look, today we've got a special preview at the Museum of Latin American Art in Long Beach. It's time now to check out what's coming up on KCAL 9 News at noon. Sandra Mitchell is here with a look.